Hello, fellow pipers. How are you on Freehand Friday? Today, I'm smoking black and smooth that was gifted to me by Pat Pope 49 and he also sent me some aromatic supreme home blend by Bos Boswell's I believe yep and thank you Pat for these uh, tobaccos it's very nice of you uh, I haven't uh, done a video in a day or so because of uh, uh, my daughter Ashley's wedding on, coming up tomorrow and uh, uh, we had the rehearsal dinner and uh, rehearsal uh, last evening and uh, just things have been hectic uh, my tux uh, is fitted and uh, refitted so uh, we're all set for that so uh, uh, zooming around and uh, uh, doing what I can to help my wife even though I'm in a wheelchair I was assigned a couple duties to call this person and that person and uh, so forth so uh, okay that's out of the way then what I want to uh, 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 say is the quote of the day uh, sticking with the uh, Mo Mother's Day theme uh, author unknown it's all mothers are working mothers end quote okay so uh, again hope you're all doing well and uh, if you're on the uh, pipe presenting and uh, tobacco and or tobacco reviewing uh, circuit, I hope you're uh, smoking your free hands. This, of course, is the uh, Missouri Mersham uh, free hand style. Uh, they look pretty much like this, except, you know, the jagged edge might be a little different, but that's their freehand. Very nice. And, uh, <clears throat> gabbing away here, so I have to, uh, Oh, okay, really nice smoke. Very tasty, this black and smooth. That's the uh, title of it. And I like it a lot. Thank you, Pat, again. And I uh, want to give a shout out, of course, to... Pat Pope 49, all one word. Uh, uh, sub him if you haven't already. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm sure he'd like to hear from you. Catch his videos, of course. Speaking of the rehearsal yesterday, it was quite interesting. We uh, yeah, went through the uh, uh, ceremony. I'm going to stand for a couple minutes uh, while I give away my daughter, my wife and I. And uh, so we went through those motions. Uh, and that was interesting. I had to position the wheelchair so I could... They'd walk up a couple feet and then uh, 
uh, grasp a hold of the rail uh, there. It's a very nice uh, chapel. It's one of the finest in the area. It's in Valley Forge, uh, where Washington had the encampment back in the 1700s. And uh, it's a gorgeous place. It's uh, all this energy into these uh, uh, beautiful parishes and uh, uh, churches. It's just gorgeous. If you're in the area in uh, eastern Pennsylvania, you have to stop in to see Valley Forge. It's, it's one of the finest national parks in the country. And uh, it's worth your while to go over there. It's, it was a beautiful day. And it was uh, kind of interesting <laughs> after the uh, um, the rehearsal, we had the rehearsal dinner at a very fine restaurant called the Kimberton Inn. Want to give a plug to them. Uh, uh, their staff uh, was just tremendous. The food was tremendous. And uh, uh, they had gotten some, some kind of outrageous uh, negative reviews. And it uh, wasn't that way at all. Uh, it was, we, uh, we uh, loved it. Well, the food, w with the uh, ratings, most of them didn't have a problem with the food. It was uh, the service. But if it was that way, it's, it's completely different. So if you're tuning in, like... Uh, uh, Bill, Philly pipe smoker, uh, you care to go there? Don't don't look at the reviews. Just go out. You'll have a great time. But the interesting part was uh, our group was in the uh, wine cellar section, which isn't. Uh, there's a wine. There's a, the wine is kept in a an adjacent room, so it's not. It's it's sort of a misnomer. Uh, it's, uh, you know, they had the banquet table down there, and it was a matter of getting me down some steps, uh, which were a few. So they, they uh, were going to take me in one entrance, which was completely out of the question. Uh, it was narrow, it was many steps, and so uh, I was going to actually uh, be up in the... Uh, uh, first floor instead of the banquet table it was kind of ridiculous so they thought they'd take me down the back way which was maybe eh, eight steps or so so they literally the uh, the men in the in the uh, they were part of the uh, rehearsal dinner uh, you know the, the groomsmen and stuff like that and the groom uh, they literally lifted my chair up with me in it. <laughs> you know, all 285 of me, pounds of me, yeah, lifted the chair and managed to get me down. And I thought, well, that's... What's it going to be like going up? So it actually worked out okay. But here I am so, go, oh, whoa, guys. You know, why they uh, took me down in the chair. So it was quite humorous. They took pictures of me. <laughs> and uh, 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 if you're just tuning in, you might not think it's that funny. But if you'd seen it. You know, I was petrified because, you know, I was leaning back this way and I was leaning that way when they were going up. So, uh, but we made it and it was a terrific uh, dinner, cocktails, the whole bit. It was really nice. The place is called the Kimberton Inn in Kimberton, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's not too far from Valley Forge, of course. And uh, so if you're ever in the area, go there. Do not look at the reviews. They're completely out of, you know, they're, they're just uh, uh, not a good representation. Uh, uh, it even, you know, little crumbs on the table. This, these uh, uh, 
uh, bussers, the girls and the boys, you know, they came around with the little brushes and brushed up every crumb. I mean, they were really wonderful, and they were so o overly polite almost. It was so nice. So, and they have a great wine selection, of course, cocktails, anything you wanted. And uh, I'm normally not a drinker, <laughs> but I do have a, an occasional drink, so uh, uh, <laughs> I was calm down pretty much with one or two cocktails but uh it was a great it was a great event so uh well we're going on uh, past 10 minutes now and uh the good little topic of conversation And, of course, if you know Kevin Green, a Louisiana pipe guy, 1965, his son is getting married this month. So, uh, uh, you know, show him some love. Tune in and uh, comment, you know, give well wish his, uh, his son and bride, uh, wife-to-be, and... Uh, you know, make sure you tune in to Kevin. Again, I want to thank Pat Pope 49. Uh, if that's your birth year, by the way, Pat, it's mine also. So, uh, uh, we're both 65. I'll be 65 uh, next week, uh, actually, on the 18th of May. That's my birthday. And uh, so, if that's your birth year, uh, you know, happy 65. And I'm going to take my, I showed it before, in fact, I made a special video showing what pipe I'm going to take to the wedding. And of course, you know, when the guys are out with their cigarettes, I'll be out with my pipe. Uh, the uh, the Dunhill uh, Christmas Edition uh, Golden Band uh, uh, pipe, that's the one I'm going to take. And... Uh, uh, that's my most elegant pipe. That's I'm going to take that to the uh, wedding. All right. Well, I'm going to sign off now. I know what that means. Take care of yourself. Be good. And by all means, happy smoking.